Hey there, everyone. Uh, my name is Dan Bell, and a handful of months ago, I put out a video that demonstrated utilizing teams and project going together. And ultimately, what I did is I I had it so that certain pages or areas within Project Align showed up on certain tabs within Microsoft Teams. Um, I demonstrated what it looks like ultimately. Now, to be clear, there are a couple of ways to do this. Uh, some people do it by by uh, bringing in the main URL of the Project Align uh, online instance, and then from there, once you navigate to Project Align, you go to where you want to within there. I chose a different route. I chose that uh, different tabs would bring you to specific areas within the tool. Let me let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, ultimately, I have a number of, of teams here. For instance, I have, um, I just created this one right here, for instance, Biothermal Ear Warming. If I click on this and then I go to the general tab, you can see that I have the typical conversations, files, and wikis there. But then I also have three other tabs that you look very familiar if you're a project online user, right? Project Center, Resource Center, Timesheet. And if I click on Project Center, that's going to give me the project center view that you're used to seeing within Project Online, where you see all your, your different projects within the system and you have access to the ribbon and you change the grouping. Um, you can add your filters and so forth. So, you know, all the, the same functionality that you would normally have in Project Online. The only difference is I'm accessing Project Center from within Microsoft Teams, right? So, you know, people are getting used to Teams, or many people anyway, are getting used to Teams as being that main hub for where they access all their work, whether it's email. Um, SharePoint and other areas, areas that they engage with. Uh, this just is another thing that brings in Project Align there for using Project Align. Our Resource Center, similar thing. You know, we have the Resource Center that shows up on a specific tab. And of course you have uh, the timesheet. It's showing up on a specific tab. And, and again, this is the route that I chose to have things be on, on separate tabs. Now you could, if you want, just have it so that the main URL is brought in here, right? So let me do that real quick and, and again because I've seen some people do it this way I want to make sure that folks are aware of the method that I'm uh, gonna be demonstrating here it's a full URL there and then the instance there so now it just goes basically to project online and so now you have the whole project online you know interface here within the teams interface so you could choose to do it this way as well. If I wanted to go to Project Center, I click on Projects here. And then if I wanted to get the full uh, real estate, meaning just get the grid blown up within my view here so I can maximize it, you can click that, bring into focus indicator, this thing right here, focus on content. You can click that and it basically gets it to where I was. Okay, now again, it's, you know, it's just a matter of choice which method you want to use. The method I'm going to demonstrate here to set up is the individual tab method where you get the individual areas within the tab. Okay, so, so let's go over those steps and what those would look like. And um, it's all about the project site. Yeah, that's where it really starts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a specific project here to do this to. We're going to choose the Coho Health Assessment Tool. It already has, a, it looks like some objects in there. So let's click on that. I open it up in a new tab. It just brings me to the project. Ultimately, where I want to go is to the project site because that's where I set this up, this functionality, to get it to work within uh, Teams. I get to the project site for the Coho, and then I go to Site Contents. And then within Site Contents, um, I'm looking here, and, and the thing that I really need here is I need the site pages in there as a content type, and it currently isn't. And I just like to use site pages because that's a great place to you know, store pages, uh, like different pages for your site. And that's what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be setting up pages. And uh, so the site pages is actually a feature. Therefore, I'm going to go ahead and click on manage site features. Scroll down here and look for my site pages. And there it is right there. As you can see, it's not activated. We're going to activate it by clicking on the activate button. And it just refreshed, and let's just check and make sure. And uh, sure enough, it's activated. Okay, so now if I go back to site contents, uh, we're gonna see that site pages is there. Great, all right, so we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna click and go into site pages now. Now the other thing I need to do is I, I need to enable a content type because I want to be able to create a certain type of page within there. And in order to do that, I'll click on this settings gear here, and then I wanna go to library settings. So we'll click on library settings and I will go to add from existing content types right here under content types. 
And the one I'm looking for is going to be wiki page right there. Click it, highlight it, click on add. And that's uh, the content type that we're going to add here. And then we're going to click okay. And so the reason we're doing this, adding this content type is because the ones that are in that site page's directory by default, don't allow me to use them the way that I want to add a web part uh, to them. So let's go back into the site pages list. So there's my site pages list. It's currently empty. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create new and then I'm going to select wiki page. That's that content type that I just added. And um, let's go back there. Okay. And that looks good. So what we want to do is um, let's call this, we'll just call it project center for lack of a better word here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this instance elsewhere because I need to get some information from that. Okay. Uh, so there is the page and what I need to do is I need to add a web part here. And the first one I'm going to add here is a media content and then script editor. So why are we adding a script editor? Well, the thing you probably noticed when I went into that uh, page before is that I had to hit that focus on content. So remember we brought the entire site in and then I hit the focus on content and that brought me into um, it like focused on the specific area or the, you know, the project center in that particular case. Well, the thing that I want to do is I want to be able to uh, focus on the content for the specific web parts that we're going to be adding here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a script and basically all this script does is this script's going to uh, immediately activate that focus on content uh, button the moment that screen is brought into focus. Okay. So not going to go over what that script is. If you want to know what that script is, you want to get it from me, just go ahead and yeah, my contact info will be attached to the video, but there's the script right there. We just insert it into a script editor web part. It's going to be triggered the moment that this web part is activated. Then we're going to insert another web part. Now there's the next one. And uh, when I look here under categories, I want to find project web app, and then we're adding project center. So we'll go ahead and add project center. That'll bring the project center web part. Yeah, there's nothing there now. That's okay. That's because we're in edit mode. What we're going to do is just save. And what that's going to do is it's going to save and uh, refresh the page. And then there you go. There's our project center page. Exactly what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and create another one. Um, why don't we do this? We'll go back into site pages and we will go ahead and create. We'll do two more. We'll do uh, resource center. And then we'll do timesheet. There's resource center. And remember, insert, and it's going to be web part. The category is going to be media and content, script editor. Click on add. Then we have to um, actually edit the part. There are probably quicker ways to do what I'm doing. I'm, I'm probably not the fastest user of uh, some of the SharePoint functionality, but um, uh, you understand where we're ultimately getting to here. Category Project Web App. This time we're looking for Resource Center. Click Add. There's Resource Center Web Part. We'll save it. And there's a Resource Center. It's going to refresh. We should be good to go here. Perfect. And then we said one more, right? We're going to do timesheet, new wiki page, create my timesheet. Uh, we're going to insert the uh, media and content like we did before. Script editor, click on add. Okay. Edit. And then we'll little edit snippet. Still have it in my clipboard, so I can just paste it in there. Click OK to close out of that web part. Insert another web part. And this time, same category. However, I want my timesheet. I click Add. And there's my timesheet over 
script editor. And there is the timesheet. So what we have is there's one URL, there's the other URL for resource center, and there's the third URL for project center. Those are ultimately the URLs that we want to specify in the teams tabs. Okay, so let's do that now. We're going to create team for that Coho health assessment tool. So this would basically, and ultimately I, I envisioned this being some kind of a app that is written for teams. Project manager could run the app. The app would cycle through the teams site pages directory note the available URLs and then prompt the project manager, which tabs do you want to create in this particular team you're creating at this moment in time? And then they would select the tabs. And then from that point, the project manager would uh, go ahead and add people to the team's team. And uh, that would give people access to the tabs within the, the team environment automatically. So each team member wouldn't have to go through this project process, just, um, just the person initially setting it up. So I do make it private. assessment I'll just leave it at that and there's so there's my coho health assessment down there I'm not going to add any uh, users just yet we're going to create a tab where you're going to use the website we're going to call it project center let's go grab that URL for project center there it is go back to teams I'm not going to post it to the channel. No need for that. There's that one. Now let's go ahead and create one for resource center. And we'll go grab that URL. Let's make sure we grab that and we'll go back to teams. Again, we're not going to post it. Click save. There's resource center. Lastly, timesheet. Won't post it. Let's go back and get that URL. And paste it in. Click save. So there we go. Coho health assessment. And we have the tabs. Project center. Resource center. And then timesheet. Okay, that what we were looking for. And again, so again, we brought in the specific tabs. So you have all the, the basic functionality, right? I have the ability to switch different views. So I have the ability to filter, uh, et cetera, et cetera. From within Resource Center, right, I can go into capacity planning, do all that kind of work in here as well. And again, it, you know, like I said uh, before, I chose to bring in the individual tabs like so, instead of having one tab that represented all of Project Align, and then from within there, I navigated just because just I thought it was a little cleaner look for me and I preferred it that way. And uh, like I said, ultimately I would envision an app be created, project manager runs the app, the app ultimately comes over here, looks through the site pages directory and determines, okay, what URLs are available and then it prompts the person uh, running the apps if they wanna create tabs for each one of those URLs. And then once the team and the pages uh, tabs are created, then they can add the people to the team like they normally would do. Okay, so we went through all the steps that showed you how to um, you know, create those individual pages for Project Center, Resource Center, and Timesheet. And then we, we added the URLs. Uh, you know, a common question would be, hey, well, well do I have to do that? that um, those functions that you're doing in the project site for every project, I mean, that's a lot of work. No, you don't, absolutely not. And so basically what I would do uh, if I were to use this or, you know, deploy this at a customer site or wherever it happens to be, we would save the Coho health assessment tool as a project site template. Okay. So what do we do? Um, we would go to site settings here. Uh, so let, let me go to the home page of here. Go to my Coho um, project site. We'll go to site settings and then we're going to save this site as a template. And I'm just going to call this, just call it Coho Site Template, just so for my purposes, I know which one I'm referencing. Uh, so site settings, save as template, give it a file name and a template name. Click save. It should only take a moment for this to save. And once it does, we're going to specify it in a default EPT. And you'll see how we use it 
Okay, so there it is, operation completed successfully, we're good to go. Now what we do is we go to PWA Home, and I'm gonna to go to Server Settings, and what I wanna do is edit my Enterprise Project Types, because it's in the Project Types where you specify the uh, Project Site Templates. I'm gonna use it in my default Project Site. You can see the default one here, yes, that's the Enterprise Project. Click on that one. And the Project Site Template is toward the bottom. You can see it here, Site Template. Currently we have that one specified. We're gonna look for the Coho. That's the one we just created. And click Save. Um, I have a project open, but what I'm gonna do, close it and relaunch here. And I'm gonna click to uh, connect to my uh, instance that we've been working with here. And I'm just gonna create a really simple project. And we'll uh, see if we can type that a little better. Design, build, test, deploy. Uh, just create some relationships there. I'm gonna add me to the team. So we'll look for my record there. And uh, then I'll assign me to those tasks. Not that that's really important or anything. And then I'm gonna save it. And I'm gonna call it Coho Site Template Test. I have no required fields. Therefore, I was able to hit save immediately. The uh, status bar in the bottom is, is showing me the percent complete at this point. So it's, uh, it's currently saving. Once it gets uh, to a certain point in saving, I'm going to just go ahead and publish it. Okay, it's completed. Let's go ahead and publish. I have it set up to prompt to create a site. Uh, so I select the radio button, create a site for this project, click publish. This pro process sometimes takes a while. Therefore, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the queue and I'm actually going to monitor this particular process because I want to make sure the site's actually fully provisioned before I ever go there and I actually see if it did what I wanted it to do. And as you can see, the project site update uh, job right here is still processing. Therefore, we want this to finish. And then we'll go take a look at the project site. It should only take you know, probably a minute. These have a lower priority than the, the uh, published database jobs that I've already finished. So they do take a little bit longer than the other. And when I say they, I mean the project site update and the reporting jobs typically have a lower priority. They're gone, they're done. Okay, so we'll go back to Project Center. And um, what I'm gonna do is, there we go. So. Here it is right here, Coho Site Template Test. We'll click on that. And uh, there we go. My super simple project, click on Project Site. And the only thing I care about here, right folks, is what we wanted to accomplish in Site Pages directory. So Site Pages is there, page library. It says that there's three items. And uh, there are the three items, project resource and timesheet. Those are exactly the items that we had in the original site, the, the template. So we've confirmed that the these items actually showed up here in the system, which is great. Let's click on each one. I'm gonna click, uh, control click, so they open in individual tabs. There's Project Center, Resource Center. Timesheet, they're all working just as designed Right, so uh, I think we're good to go. So there's the, the closeout. You know, that, that's how it would, would basically take place. Um, you know, if you have it as a site template, you don't have to redo the, the um, creation of those web part pages over and over again. You just do it one time. And then if you specify this as your site template, then the setup from that point forward is really simple. Um, you know, you could either set up the tabs manually in Teams or ultimately if there's some kind of an app developed for Teams, you could have the process a little bit more automated. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to anybody. If you have questions, feel free to reach out.